So good morning to all. So I am B Satya Priya, Department of Computer Science and Engineering. I am choosing my course name as Fundamental of Design Thinking. So in that I am going to choose the topic name Tools for Design Thinking. Okay. So before entering into tools of design thinking, so just we have to see what are the tools phase of design thinking. So uh, as you know, design thinking is a problem solving approach. So mainly why we are going for design thinking means suppose if you want to find any pro problem statement, if you want to find any anything somewhat more complex. So for that purpose, we are going for design thinking. So design thinking is mainly focused on to finding the solution then and also at the same time, just we are going to uncover the what are the needs of customers, what are the requirements of customers, everything we are given in the design thinking. So design thinking, it is a way, it is a problem solving approach. Okay. So whatever we are going to understand, what are the user needs and challenging assumptions. Okay. And what are our problems? Suppose we are not finding a solution for the particular problem, just we are going to define the problem by using some innovative uh, strategies and also we are going to give some innovative solution for that. Okay, so mainly design thinking is focused on just we are going to find the problem statement, just we are going to solution, find the solution for the problem statement. So that is the main important thing of design thinking. Okay, so as, as before we saw about a phase of design thinking. So as we know, we, we have five phases of design thinking, empathize, define, idea, prototyping and testing. Okay, so now we are going to see about the tools of design thinking. So tools of design thinking means what are the tools which will be used in the design thinking. Okay, so if we use the tools, how we are going to give some innovative solution for the particular customer needs and requirements. So just in this tools of design thinking, just we are going to identify and we are going to execute some properties for developing the growth and innovation. That is the main description of a tools of design thinking. Okay. So in the tools of design thinking, we are, ha we are having a 10 tools of design thinking. So normally we start with a visualization. Okay. So what is a visualization in the sense? Suppose if it is, so visualization as a name itself, we know it is just we are going to visualize our uh, visualize our points to, to the customers. Just uh, so rather than we are making any paragraph or any other points or any other something, just we can go by using some images or by using some visual drawings, just we are going to convey our information to the customers. That is a main motto for uh, focusing the visualization. So it about the images, not a drawing. Okay. So by using a images, so what, whatever, in, first we are going to find the problem statement from the customer. Okay, so after getting the problem statement, we are going to give some innovative solution. So for that solution, we are going to make some, we have to make some images. Okay, by using that images, we are going to uh, explain our concepts to the customers. So then customers can easily understand the solution for the problem statement. They, they can easily get the solution for their problem statement. That is the main important thing which we focus on the visualization. So normally visualization is a visual thinking. Okay. So in this, in this main, main goal is just we are going to push up the beyond the languages and the speeches. Okay. That is we are going to unlocking a different part of brain. We are they're just they're going to allow us to think. Okay. So in this visualization, it, it is not, does not involve any words or any email or anything. So by based on the images, by based on the visual, uh, visual images, just we are going to convey our information to the customers. That is the main important thing in the visualization. So that is the first tool in the tools of design thinking. Okay. Second tool, journey mapping or experience mapping. So journey mapping is also called it as experience mapping. So experience mapping, it's a, uh, it's a ethnographic research method. So what is ethnographic research method means? Just we are going to study the people. So how the people emotions, how the people requirements, how the people everything. So based on the people requirement, based on the people emotions, that is why we are go for ethnographic research method. Okay. So journey mapping is also called it as experience mapping. In that mapping, just we are going to study about the particular human society. Okay. So what is a journey mapping in the sense? Just we are going to tracing the journey. Okay. Customer's journey in that how she, he or she interacts with the organization, okay, how they are going to interact with the organization and the, how they are going to get some special attention and how they are going to get the feedback either in the negative or 
positive way okay so that is a main important thing in the journey mapping so in the journey in the throughout the journey for example if we start any project means from starting to ending of the project we are going to trace the points so whatever points they given from higher official or anything just we are going to consume the points whether it, whether it is a positive or negative so based on the, their suggestions we are we are going to make a projects to get the to make a successful point one okay so in that the main motto of this journey mapping in the sense just we are going to identify the obj object customer needs that is a main objective thing just we are going to identify the customer needs and also at the same time how the customers cannot okay we are going to cover how the customers cannot express their thoughts so we have to find the reason why the customers cannot express their feelings and thoughts easily so everything we are going to find in the journey mapping so why customer have a state to to they are develop who to define all their requirements so everything whatever customer facing complexity in this customer journey or experience mapping or journey mapping just we are going to map their customer needs and also they are going we are going to find the customer problems and also the, how they are facing the problem how they are not rectify the problem everything we are going to find in this journey mapping right so this is a second tools and coming out to third one so the third one value chain analysis so value chain analysis means in this also how the organization are going to interact with the value chain partners okay so how they are going to produce some product in the market how they are going to distribute some new offerings in the market everything will be considered in the value chain partners okay that is we are going to identify the value of customers okay and along with the chain and how they are going to uh, trace the company and how they are going to uncover some capabilities and how they are going to uncover some intentions so everything will be based upon the value chain analysis so, so that is just like it's a chain form we are going to find the some capabilities and intentions of the customers in the value chain format that is a value chain analysis just we are going to analysis the value of a customers okay and also at the same time how the what are the customers capabilities and what are the customers intentions that we are going to make it to shown to the organization so everything will be based upon the value chain format that is a third tool of design thinking okay so coming to fourth tool it's a mind mapping so ma mind mapping when the heading itself we need to just we are going to map our whatever ideas we have in mind just we are going to map it into map it together okay so in this we are going to map some new ideas that we are going to link it together okay to form a central idea so whatever ideas we are having for example in a class if we take 60 students 60 students having 60 ideas so we are going to get all the 60 ideas and we make it as central idea okay that is a main motto of the mind mapping okay so in this mind mapping how we are going to generalize how we are going to visualize how we are going to build our ideas how we are going to classify ideas so every ideas will make it for arrangement of design so by so at finally we are going to form our design so for the design how the ideas are going to be classify how the ideas are going to be visualize everything will be shown part in the mind mapping so mind mapping is just that just like that we are going to map some new ideas and we are going to make it as some central idea so from that idea we are going to create some new innovative solution and we are going to hand over the solution to the customers okay that is a fourth tool and coming out to fifth tool it is a rabbit concept development it is it is also helps to create idea of for the potential new business opportunities whatever business we are going to develop okay so in, in that so from this uh, in this heading we are going to give some idea to just start up the business new business so uh, so whoever want to start the new business so for that business this idea is very very helpful for them to start the new business opportunities okay so sixth one assumption testing so assumption testing means means how we are going to correctly draw the conclusion okay so whatever we are done in the previous format so everything we are going to draw from the conclusion okay so in this so in this um, conclusion before going for analysis before going for result analysis just we are going to draw some conclusion based upon the 
previous formats okay so based on this only we are going to fulfill our customer requirements okay so before going for this fulfillment we have to go go through the four type of testing that is four test we are going to see about value creation execution scalability and defensibility so in that what is a value creation in the sense so just we are going to, it is a process of tuning labor and resources okay just we are going to tuning some labor and resources just we are going to make it something and we are going to meet the needs of the others that is a main motto for the value creation okay so whatever we have some labors or anything so whatever for example if we take any education or anything so mainly we are going to focus only on the students process okay so only we are going to focus on the student advantage how the students will get everything so by this we are say so everything for a, for example if we take some higher official faculty everything will be work for towards the students um, advantage only okay that is a value creation is how the labor and resources are going to be turned something to meet the customer needs okay that is a main motto for the value creation next execution so execution we already know so before planning so just at uh, the time of planning just we are going to execute something in that okay scalability means so in this scalability we are going to find some capacity how so capacity of a process how the uh, uh, solution will be will be generated by this so everything will be based upon the scalability process defensibility means suppose if you are not liking if you are not like any ideas if you are not getting any solution from the from any other people just we are going to able to protect against them just we are going to ignore that okay so based on the four test only we are going for result analysis okay so if this four test done means automatically we are going to fulfill the requirements to the customers okay this is a sixth part seventh part prototyping so normally we know prototyping so before going into actual ideas just we are going to construct some sample idea in that sample idea we have to do some cal some paper prototyping some everything some work in the paper okay some work in the system everything so actually so after completing this if we find found any errors then we have to correct the errors and then we are going to convert it into final product that is a prototyping uh, in this prototype in the tools of design thinking how the prototyping will work means just we are going to abstract some new ideas okay from the customers and the partners just we are going to abstract whatever ideas they are having just we are going to abstract their ideas okay so in this prototyping we are include some four type of methods first one storyboarding second one user scenarios and third one experience journey and fourth one business concept illustration so in the first one what is a storyboarding in the sense it is a process of uh, producing some images or drawings okay so for the to the to the customers just we are going to produce some images or drawings to show the outline of a story for example if we take a promo okay so if we go for any film promo or anything by by uh, based on the promo we can understand something about that for example if we take any new films or anything before before the film is coming just we are seeing some promo of the particular film so based on the promo we can understand concept and the story about that okay so the promo is a very very important very good example for this storyboarding so by so just we are going to tell a story by using some drawings just we are going to out, show the outline of a story okay that is a storyboarding second one user scenarios for example if we go for so if we take it into future so what are all actions what are possible actions that we are going to implement it in the future what are the possible actions what are the possible solution that we are going to be implemented in the future that will be showing in the user scenarios okay and third one experience journey so how we get the experience journey in the sense based on the customer journey so how the customers will will be trained from starting to ending for example if you are if they are doing any project from starting to ending how they are the how their journey is going to be happen so everything will be get it from the customer journey only so everything will be get from the customers everything will be based on the experience journey okay and fourth one business concept illustration so what is the main motto for the illustration of a business means so whatever we have ideas just we are going to represent the ideas in a business business concept in a clear way so if ideas are not suited if ideas is not possible in the business in the business we cannot get success in the business so whatever ideas we are having just we are going to represent the ideas in a clear format okay so the above all the process everything will be based upon the customers 
they are going to encourage the customers they are going to deep involvement with the stakeholders and so after involving with the stakeholders and finally they are going to collect the feedback from the customers okay so these are the some four important methods which will be used in the prototyping okay and coming to eighth one customer co creation so customer co creation so uh, what it is a it is a technique just to be allow the managers to engage with the customers and allow to make some create and develop new ideas okay so in this customer co creation it is a risk reducing approach so risk reducing approach means so just we are going to so if a customers if a customers have co created with some some partners or anything means so we are automatically we can reduce the risk okay so if we reduce the risk means automatically we can increase our growth and innovation okay so this is a second part and third part so in this we are going to invite some stakeholders for example whether it is a customer or employee just we are going to invite them and ask them to participate and design or any other problem solving to get some mutual value outcome okay for example if we take a student so so why we are conducting some mid exams so they, um, so in the mid exam only we are going to assess the students how, okay so how they how they are uh, get the sub, get into subject how they are, they can understand the subject everything will be based upon the mid exam assessment only so for that only just we are going to invite all the customers or all any other partners to participate in a design okay so and, and then only they are going to get some mutual value outcome for the process okay and coming to ninth one learning launches so learning launches means finally we are going to launch our product in the marketplace okay so whatever product we have finally we are going to launch a product in the market though so this more this launching experiment also we are going to conduct it in weekly and in exponentially just you are going to get get some market driven data so market driven data means it can be uh, used both market long language and customer needs okay so it will be useful for both this method okay so just whatever we product we have developed that product we are going to launch into the marketplace and we are going to get some uh, feedback from their marketplace then only it will be useful for their next product next uh, developing product okay this is a le learning launches and coming to the third to 10th tool that is a storytelling so storytelling means so like that visualization so rather than we are making a points or any other paragraph just we are going to tell a story okay so how we are going to tell a story to the kids how they will understand by using the story so like that we are going to tell a story to the customers rather than making some points or paragraphs just we are going to visualize our story to the customers it is a part of visualization also that is it is another way of visualize our ideas to the customers it is a main important in the storytelling so storytelling is a part of the visualization right so in the storytelling whether it is a good presentation so we cannot see whether it is a good presentation whether it is analytical or design oriented or anything but whatever we want to tell about that just we are going to convey our in concept by the means of some storytelling okay so if we want to do in a some believed storytelling mean just we are going to uh, give some uh, believed to story to that so if we want to believe something means if we, we want to deliver our products to to be to be the believable story so these are the some 10 tools of design thinking process okay so thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates